Hi everyone, I'm Rockin' Jay Shaw. I play lead guitar and uh, write most of the music for uh, the Rockin' Jay Shaw band. Um, from being where I was at a few years ago and playing solo and, and doing a lot of acoustic gigs, I kind of tend to want to expand more with the band. And uh, I have a lot of really good friends around. I mean, the community's great. Like, there's so many musicians in Collingwood, um, a lot of which my friends come over and we'll jam. But uh, I got a few core guys with me right now, Aaron and Brian Parks. Uh, good boys, uh, they've been with me for a while and yeah, we're just having a blast and we're kind of getting into the point where we've practiced a lot of the songs that I've written in the past and we've worked on a lot of that. But now I believe we're into the point where we're just gonna start writing some songs together. Originally, what sparked it the most, I think, was just watching like my family we used to throw pig roast. We had like about 19 years in a row, pig roast. Um, have some property up at Banks, and uh, my dad used to throw parties for like all the extended family as well. And we used to all get together, and there'd be a few guitars at the end of the night at the campfire. And that's exactly where I gained like the first inspirations. My short-term goals, um, definitely. I think I need to book myself some more gigs. I'm kind of like. Maybe possibly look for an agent. Um, it's kind of my goals this year, get more shows. Um, there's a few recordings I have sitting on the back burner that I haven't released yet, and I'd like to get to that. And yeah, I've got future plans for the studio. I want to build the studio one day. That would be the audacious way of saying that. But no, I think uh, I, I'm definitely interested in recording more music. Um, that's like really my passion as far as even when I went to school for it and come back. It's like those are kind of the things that although I'm a dad and although I'm, I work for a good reputable company, um, I'm just like, it's busy but you just try to do your best. And I'm here now with Rock and Jay Shaw. We're going to see who you are, what you're about and what made you be the person you are today. So I want to know, where'd you come up with the name? Rock and Jay Shaw, what is that? Rock and Jay Shaw came from a silly little thing that I had with my buddy Chris Gibson. We were in a band called Sick by Desire back in the day. Okay. And uh, he used to call me Rock and Jay Shaw. This is Rock and Jay, and I hated it. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. Well, turns out by the time I left that band, I was going to put together my own little project. I was going to put it out there. I didn't really think anybody cared about Jason Shaw too much. No. I just dropped that and went with the Rock and Jay Shaw thing, and that was kind of my thing after that. It's funny, after a few years, it connects with people after a while. Yeah. And I go to small little things like the music lab in town and stuff like that, and I'll walk into a room or sometimes into the crow or something, and I'll hear out in the back, Rock and Jay Shaw. So the song Working Your Way, I wrote back in 2007. I released it on my, on my record Desire. It was written about being in a factory, and I guess there's a couple ways I could tell this story. It's kind of funny, actually, but I think that I'll go with the funny way of it. I used to get in trouble all the time for writing songs on our paperwork. I'd sneak around the corner and I'd just be writing these songs. Well, I think I, after a while I was getting in trouble for it and I might have been getting sick of it or something, I don't know. Well, anyway, I guess to make a long story short, I was getting in trouble all the time and I finally was like, I'm working my way from the bottom on down. And in the first lines of the song, it says, this place has taken everything from me. These walls, they keep me here, I can't breathe. This place has gotten way too old, and this job has taken too much soul. Working your way from the bottom on down. And for me, it's just trying to get yourself out of that hole. And if you don't like that environment, and you don't want to be in that environment anymore, and you want to do more things with your life, you do more with your life. It's, you, it's your story to write. Way too old. This job's 
Where can y'all wait? 